Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're we'll gonna be having a serious conversation about negative equity because it's becoming a really big issue in today's market. Before we get into this video, though, as always, if you're gonna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. And then if you wanna see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Let's get into it. So the last few years for the car market have been pretty crazy. We saw a huge run up in car values over the course of the pandemic. And over the course of 2022, we saw those car values crash pretty drastically. And then 2023, so far we've seen car values go back up again. Now they are starting to decline, but we are still in a market where cars are significantly more expensive than what they have been historically, both on the new car side of things and on the used car side of things. And so because of all of these, you know, huge rises and crashes, we now have a market where there's a lot of people that are very upset on their vehicles because they just paid way too much for them. I know a lot of people that purchased cars at the end of 2021 when prices were at the top and they still own that car today. And so now they owe a lot more on that car than what it is worth. And this is leading to some pretty interesting decision making on the part of these people. And I don't exactly agree with the decisions that they're making. And so I wanted to make a video talking about this negative equity situation and hoping that this prevents some of you from making the mistake that some people are making. So none of us can predict the future, but I think it's pretty safe to assume that used car prices are going to take quite some time to get up to the levels they were at during the peak of the pandemic. Like right now, the trend with the used car market is that prices are going down. Now, obviously over time, used car prices do go up because new cars get more expensive. But again, the prices we saw at the peak of the pandemic were absolutely insane. So I think it's going to take quite some time to get back up to there. So if you happen to purchase a car at that time, then what you need to understand is, especially if you have a loan on this car, you're probably going to be upside down on that car for quite some time. And so that means that you obviously have some options. Now, the first option that I'm seeing a lot of people try to partake in that I don't necessarily agree with is they're trying to just go in and trade for another car. Now, if the car that you purchased is extremely unreliable or it just really doesn't meet your needs, then this can make some logical sense. But if you're just trying to trade because you're trying to get out of your negative equity, you're trying to get into something new, then the reality of the situation is you're going to actually put yourself in a potentially worse situation. And here's what I mean. So so with negative equity, there are only a few cars that can actually absorb negative equity. When it comes to a used car, like if you're trying to trade in your car for a used car and you have negative equity, well, you're going to have to buy a used car significantly under book. Now, the only time that this typically happens is if there is some sort of lag bet between book values and retail values on used cars. And so if you're buying a car where the book is really high, but then the retail selling value is extremely low, what that usually means is that that car is currently losing a ton of value on the market. And so even though the book value, the amount you're able to get a loan for on that car is higher, the actual value, the market value on that car is significantly lower. And so you're actually putting yourself in a situation where you're probably gonna be even more upside down than what you were in the first car. And then when it comes to new cars, typically the only new cars that can hold negative equity are new cars with big discounts. And again, why would these new cars have big discounts? Well, that's because there's not enough demand compared to the supply, which means that on the used car market, these cars typically don't do all that well, because again, there's too much supply and there's not enough demand. And when you have new cars that are getting discounted significant amounts, that does reflect in prices on the used car market because what dealers and other people that are buying and selling cars look at as soon as they're you know appraising a car that is relatively new is they look at how much the new ones are going for. And if they see that the new ones are selling for under MSRP, you better believe that they're not gonna pay anywhere near original MSRP. And they're probably gonna pay even below invoice because they understand that that's what they're competing against with their used car, right? If the new ones are going for this amount, their used one needs to be that amount or less, depending on the type of car it is, the condition, miles, there's a lot that goes into it. So the point that I'm trying to make here is if you think that you can somehow get yourself in a better situation if you're really upset out in your car by buying a new car or by buying a used car, well, again, it's always going to be a case by case basis, but in most cases, you're going to put yourself in a worse situation where you have even more negative equity. And so, 
I hope that you like the car that you purchase if you end up doing that because you're going to have to drive it for quite some time. And so this is not financial advice, but what I would do in this situation, if I was one of those people that purchased a car at the peak of the pandemic, that purchased at the peak of prices, right? I would just go and focus on paying off that car as soon as I possibly can. Yes, it's going to feel painful because you feel like you're paying, you know, you're overpaying for a car and, you know, frankly, the market kind of put you in a position where you did overpay for a car. But getting that car paid off, I think is the best thing, especially if the car meets your needs and is reliable enough to last during the course of you having a loan on that. I, I think that that is just the safe route to go. And then once it's paid off, then, you know, looking in, at cars in the car market, I think I think at that point then it's probably you know worth diving into because you'll be in a much better situation and it won't be a situation where you you know you'll feel as pressured because you know if your car's already paid off then it's like well there's it, you know there's there's not as much to uh, worry about in that situation. But anyways, I want you guys to let me know what you think about this whole negative equity situation and what would you do if you were in the position where you purchased a car at the end of 2021, beginning of 2022, and are now extremely upside down in the car? Would you just pay it off? Would you try to trade it in on something different or would you try to do something else? I'll see you.